a lovable cat, the Himalayan can be both a quiet companion and energetic playmate. This breed is generally friendly to everyone. Like the Persian, the Himalayan is sweet, docile, and quiet. She is an ornament to any home where she can enjoy sitting in a lap, surely her rightful place, being petted by those who are discerning enough to recognize her superior qualities, and playing house with kind children who will gently comb her hair, will her around in a baby buggy, let her chase an interactive toy, then serve her tea at their parties. Himalayans are affectionate but discriminating. They reserve their attention for family members and those few guests whom they feel they can trust. Loud environments aren't a Himalayan style, they are sedate cats who prefer a serene home where little changes from day to day. The Himalayan is usually a medium-sized cat although she is massive and heavily boned. With her masses of fur, she can appear to be rather large. The Himalayan is an extremely looking breed. The body is short but thick with thick legs and a short, thick neck. The boning is heavy but the tail is short and the ears are small. The head of the Himalayan is round and has large, round eyes. When viewed in profile, the face is flat with the nose changing direction so that you see primarily the colored skin on the nose. It is very fine but should be lustrous and glossy. The Himalayan, or Himi for short, is a Persian in Siamese drag, affectionate but discriminating. If you're planning to have this energetic, quiet, and sweet feline, you can get one of them on these reputable Himalayan cat breeders. A love four paws cattery. Their small, closed, cattery is located in Rancho Santa Margarita, California. They registered their cattery with the Cat Fanciers Association in 2009. They specialize in the breeding of luxurious, beautiful, healthy, CFA-registered, pedigreed Himalayan cats, Persian cats, and exotic short-haired cats. Their exotic short-haired kittens and cats are loving, trusting, and very cuddly, because they spend a great deal of time holding them, petting them, and playing with them. Exotic short-haired cats, Persian cats, and Himalayan cats are very loving breeds. Quiet and calm, with huge eyes. Their exotic short hair, Persian and Himalayan cats follow them around our house. They have a laid-back personality but they are not lazy. It is easy to see why exotic short hair, Persian, and Himalayans are the most popular cats in the world. All of their Himalayan, exotic short hair and Persian kittens will make wonderful, loving pets, and some have show potential. They are a PKD negative category. All of their Himalayan, exotic short hair, and Persian kittens come with a written one-year health guarantee. They care very much about each kitten's placement. Their exotic short hair, Persian and Himalayan cats, and kittens are raised in a loving family environment and are handled many times a day. They are very well socialized, weaned and litter box trained. Their cattery is a member of the Cat Fanciers Association, and all of their cats and kittens are CFA registered. Darling Jewels Their cattery is located in a house on a beautiful lake in Orange County, California. They strive to keep a very clean and cage-free environment for all our cats and kittens. Their cats thrive with the individual attention and love they receive. They have been helping people find the perfect kitten just for them, please let us help you find yours. PKD Negative Cattery Tulaberg Cattery Tulaberg Cattery is located in Sebastopol, near Santa Rosa, California. They are a small cattery that strives to produce quality Persians and Himalayans. They concentrate on producing show and breeder quality chocolates and lilacs in solid, pointed, and bicolor varieties. They have a special interest in color genetics and enjoy fielding questions in this area. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Cherry Birdie Cattery. These cats are all very loved and well cared for. Cherry Birdie is owned and operated by Cheryl and David Riley and they have been breeding cats since 1993, showing them since 2003 and really enjoy it. Breeding cats is something that they have known they wanted to do all their life. Because of this, you might say that these cats and kittens are spoiled and raised with lots of love, attention, and handling, all inside their house. Most have been shown in CFA and some in Tika. The cattery is CFA registered and they're also a member of Tika. They are a member of the CFA Breed Council. They raise Himalayan and Silver Persian kittens. They are breeding first and foremost for health and when possible, the show standard. Some of the lines they work with are from such well-known catteries for Persians as Mission Hill, Bredichtal, Ultimate, Labris, Scrimshaw, Castlegate, and Daly. Their Himalayan lines include Uno Belgado, Prance and Paws, Loridan, Purples, Sand Paws, Cats of Frets, Country Eagle, and Darling Purs. All kittens come with a written health guarantee in their first shots. They will also be sent home with samples of food that they have been eating. They are a PKD-negative tested cattery. Lilac Farms 
Lilac Farms is a closed cattery whose felines reside indoors only. A closed cattery means that our felines are never exposed to felines who do not reside within their cattery. They are extremely strict with this rule. They do not show their cats for this reason. Ringworm runs ramped at cat shows and many catteries who show their cats have ringworm. This is a dirty little secret that numerous catteries actively showing their cats keep from the general public. To prevent their cats and clients from ever contracting and or spreading ringworm, they don't allow their felines to compete in cat shows. Hence, they sacrifice the championship status Lilac Farms felines would most likely receive if they were exhibited. All of Lilac Farms Foundation felines were tested and found negative for PKD, feline panleukopenia, 5, feline leukemia, and ringworm. The term foundation felines mean, the very first breeding felines within the cattery. The ailments mentioned are either contagious or strictly hereditary. Due to being a closed cattery and knowing that their foundation felines were tested and found negative for these issues, there is no further need for them to test their felines offspring. If ever they were to add a new feline into their cattery, that new feline would be put into a quarantined area or room for three months and tested for all of the above before being introduced to their existing feline pride. Dreams Himalayans They are now back to the cat fancy as I've been away for about 10 years. However, they've been around the Himalayans since they were around the age of 14. This has put them in contact with many great breeders from the past and present. Such breeders as Virgin Elaine of the Purring Lane Cattery, and Kay Hughes of the Kaze Khyber Cattery. Both of these breeders helped me a great deal when they were just new to the fancy. And when we came back their greatest mentor and love is Margaret Kadu is owner of the Dahlia's Cattery and my husband Ben's great aunt, also another great mentor and friend is Diane Castor of the Playwiki Cattery. They owe a great deal to both of these great breeders for their advice, friendship, and love. They are working with great bloodlines of traditional colored Himalayans combining them with the best chocolate or lilac lines we know, our end result will be very rare links points with great show type. Combining such great lines as Playwiki, Lake Heiko, Kata, Demiera, and Jolie. This will produce the rare colors that they specialize in, such as, chocolate links points, chocolate torty links points, lilac links points, and lilac cream links points. The factors we look for in the lines that they use are great coats, great types, very sweet dispositions, and the genes they can use in their special breeding program. After being back to the cat fancy, their dreams have been coming true. Himalayans aren't the best choice for a houseful of boisterous children and dogs, but they have no objection to being the object of a gentle child's attention or to rubbing along with a friendly dog who doesn't chase them or otherwise cause them anxiety. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.